and so I know when since politics turn out in a discrimination against women. When since a political campaign turning out to be bashing a woman over her appearance. It simply goes to show that they don't really have anything to campaign about. Bless up, bless up my people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Anissa Bell Rose. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks to the returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the post notification bell on. Put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me. On the road to 20K. Help me to get there, my people. So in this one, my people, we're seeing where the Jamaica Labour Party had a conference and Homer Davis, along with another member, discriminated one of the People's National Party female candidate and trust and believe it's very distasteful when you hear some of the Jamaica Labour Party supporters coming out just to see him and saying it's disgusting it's very disgusting because if you're on a political platform a politics if you're talking about you know and talking about the changes that you have made since when you say you make a whole lot of changes and the prosperity we want to say is out there, right? And that I feel so I talk about as well as on a campaign why the people and choose uno again as you know the leading party and not discriminating against a female candidate talking about her buttocks and her breasts. Before me get into the response from this said Nikisha Burchell, me I gonna make you know, hear what was said at that conference, my people. While you're at it, you know, drop a like on the video. I never need it! That running up and down all over the place! And it's only three bees I hear them talking about in respect to the lady. One bee is that she named Burchell. And that is the good bee. But the other two bees, and I see them advertise it on their own platform, is one the back, and the one on the front. And all of that is a false bee. So you have the real deal in Homer Davis. So let me tell you that, you stick to Homer Davis, and you'll have a better constituency. I am here as your member of parliament. I am here to tell you, I am here to tell you that this is not a beauty contest. Because if I am looking at beauty contest, I think I have one of the most beautiful women. And this is my wife. Right? 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 I have one of the most beautiful women. And everything is natural. 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 So let us understand that. So whoever, whoever is here, who is on a beauty contest. We know he not that. We know he not that. So when you're coming and you're parading, we don't know where you parade for. Let me tell you, we are on a mission. And after hearing what they said, the People's National Party standard bearer in St. James Southern, Nikisha Burchill, has labeled those statement as sexist and deeply disrespectful remarks made about her personal appearance at that Jamaica Labour Party conference in the constituency. Birchell will be seeking to unseat incumbent member of parliament Homer Davis in the next general election which is due by September 2025. All right now basically Birchell has said she needs to even want no apology. Because even if one will say women do them body, that is nothing to be on a political platform speaking about. To each his own. I am not for the whole body augmentation. But 
to each his own. If a woman want enhance her beauty or enhance anything on her body, who are we to judge her or who are we to even speak on it? That's her prerogative. That's her personal choice. And so I don't know when since politics turn out in a discrimination against women. When since a political campaign turning out to be bashing a woman over her appearance. It simply goes to show that they don't really have anything to campaign about. And the people of Jamaica are speaking out, the people them are wake up. And so, it no matter where them come out in a campaign, um, them come say, the people them are going to vote. And the people them vote are going to count. Right there and then as well, we know that the People's National Party women's movement decries the whole sexist comments. And Comrade Patricia Duncan Sutherland spoke out about it. Take a listen. As president of the PMP Women's Movement, on behalf of all of the women of Jamaica, I just want to express our deep disappointment that we have to once again come out to make a statement condemning sexist remarks being made on a political platform. Senator Charles Sinclair and MP Homer Davis on October 29 chose to make some derogatory remarks about the PMP's Deputy General Secretary Nikisha Burchell, who is also the candidate for South St. James. These comments were unwarranted, unnecessary, and in fact, quite crude. And they were made in the presence of the leader of the Jamaica Labour Party and other members of the leadership of the party. We expect that both gentlemen would come out with an unequivocal apology and we expect that the leadership of the Jamaica Labour Party will also come out condemning their statement and also distancing themselves from such statement. We once again call on Minister Grange as a woman, as the deputy leader of the Jamaica Labour Party to implore the members of her party to understand that this kind of discourse has no place in the politics of Jamaica and that we must uphold the dignity of women as we expand leadership in Jamaica to include more women on the political platform. Senator Sinclair, MP Davis, we expect an apology. And so I've said my piece already. So I want to hear from Uno, my loyal people, my subscribers, them, and new viewers. I want to hear from Uno just the same. Drop some comment and tell me what you think about this. Tell me about what you think about these two grown men speaking on a woman's appearance. When a politics, them fear to talk about, so to speak. A campaign for make the people them know what they are going to bring to the table next time around. Or for make the people them know exactly what they're about. So the people them can make them choice. Right or wrong. Make me know what says Uno. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Run go over to my other platform, Instagram and Facebook. And follow me over there at Anissa Bell Rose. Check out the YouTube store. Make a purchase. It goes in support of the channel. Check out the YouTube membership. You get a lot of benefits by becoming a member. We do notifications, shout out in each and every video to be a part of that. All you have to do is be the first to comment, like, and subscribe, and you'll be featured in the following video to come. This notification shout out goes to Evelyn Meikle. Big up yourself, Evelyn Meikle. True supporter from day one. New viewers, come on board, journey with me, join the family, subscribe to the channel, share out some of the videos, like up the videos. Stay tuned for more videos. Big up on yourself.